Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. Just in time to visit another really cool kind of public campground. It's actually a river authority a campground out here on, I'm at Lake Livingston. And several of y'all have told me that I need to come pay a, t pay a visit to a campground on Lake Livingston. It's actually a Trinity River Authority campground. So I, today, as you saw in the headline, we're going to explore, we're gonna see all the stuff at Wolf Creek Park on Lake Livingston. Before we start this tour, click on the howdy button. Say howdy in the description down there. Tell me what is your favorite Texas State Park? I got a map. So there's our map. There's all the stuff. We're gonna go check it out. This, this is actually an award-winning campground. They've actually been, uh, they've won an award for us. Uh, anyway, they won an award recently that'll be pub made public next month. And it's like best campground in 42 counties or something like that. It's an East Texas publication. What a beautiful park this is. So let me, let me deploy Sable, put on the helmet, and we'll go see the Wolf Creek Park stuff. Oh, my boat ramp fans are gonna be so excited. We got a big old boat ramp. They even have fuel. Not much of a marina here at Wolf Creek Park, but the store does sell fuel for your watercraft. We gotta go out here and check out this. Oh man, an alligator proof fish cleaning station. That proves that there's fish in this here lake. I had a long conversation with David, the manager, and he was, he was giving me the lowdown. This is a neat little park. It's operated by the Trinity River Authority which is a state agency. Oh, and there's where you catch all the fish. It doesn't look like the water's too very deep here because I can see, of course, you know, we're, we're just now coming out of that really bad drought. Lake levels are back up. Really, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here though. All right, let's go see some more Wolf Creek Park stuff. Don't have a boat, but you still want to get on the water? Well, they have kayak and paddleboard rentals. Wolf Creek Park actually has a store. It's kind of one of those private public partnership things. So the store structure is actually owned by Trinity River Valley Authority, but the contents the store inside the building is a private privately owned operation we'll, we'll go we're getting close to that well this is pretty cool i think we could consider this to be officially a, an rv resort because they have miniature golf and look at the view while you're putting your balls around <laughs> That's pretty dang cool. All right, let's walk up here. And I, and I use that term very liberally today. Let's shuffle on over here. Ooh, that's a, a big trip hazard right there. So you can sit down and you can watch the hummingbirds. And it's my understanding that the people that operate the store actually live here on site, but they're not open today. According to all of the signs, they have tackle, bait, boat, soft drink, candy, and groceries. And we can see that they have lots of ice and propane. Very well outfitted. Let's go see some more stuff. Wolf Creek Park was actually, or the Wolf Creek Park campground was constructed in the early 70s. I think David said 1972. 
and the original campground consisted of three loops and we can see all three of those loops from here and they're they're the wagon wheel spoke type of camping loop i was told it, it's not uncommon to have some 40 foot plus toy haulers in these sites these are all full connection 50 30. yeah so you've got lots of full connection sites to choose from all right I need to go check out the bathrooms see what they look like I, I, not that I, I I don't need to use the bathroom I need to show you the bathroom we got to do the dude RV bathroom check I know I, I, I said I was we were gonna do a bathroom check but I, I, I had to go to the swim area first there there is lots of shoreline for fishing swimming this is the official swim area they've got steps to get into the water not exactly ADA friendly beautiful place to spend the day hanging out doing some picnicking all right we're headed to the restroom but there's something between here and there so let's go see some more stuff so if you're planning a trip with the grandkids or the kids for that matter and, and wolf creek park is on your radar they will be excited to know there is a cool playground just for them got the chain swings that you can go real high in and rubber mulch to bounce off of baby swings look at a cool play right a uh, grasshopper i guess is what that is some slides one of one of one of those things is so soft it's hard for me to walk on it yeah we'll go find the restrooms we'll go find some showers but wait but wait there's more is volleyball your thing you'll be happy to know they have that or do, do you prefer basketball well they have that too and i was told that you know if you want to play some pickleball that's the only place to do it they don't have a pickleball court but they got a basketball court all right now we're gonna head up there it's not too shabby it's actually pretty nice super clean although i don't think there's any wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, here we go that's what we're looking for right there the handicap shower push button well you're not wasting water very clean in here i mean really clean all right let's, let's go see some more stuff wow these are beautiful i mean how cool is that of course these are going to be sunrise campsites we're on the west side this is the first of the lake side campsites they just had the bulkhead rebuilt here but what a view from these sites okay let's go see some more stuff it's the other bathroom shower facility they sell pizza at the store that's good to know let's take a look see if this one's any different any more different well pretty much the same same as it ever was yep so it is it, it's handicap friendly right, we're gonna go see if we can find a, a site down there to, 
Let's go see some more stuff. This park is just beautiful. Very, it's very park-like. So there's the, the newest loop, camp loop, is up this hill. And since I'm down on battery, we're not going up there yet. So if you want to <coughs> see that loop, <coughs> if you want to see that loop, you'll need to click on the subscribe button because Thursday, maybe Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be releasing the scooter footage shot on this camera and then the next day i'll be shooting releasing the insta 360 video and if you're not familiar with the insta 3 the 360 videos if you're watching with your cell phone you can actually rotate the phone and you can see 360 degrees i mean it's the full sphere you can actually see the front wheel of the scooter while you're on top of my head. But if you want to see that up there, you gotta, you're gonna have to watch the scooter. The, you'll have to watch the scooter run. Let's go, let's go find a campsite to talk about. There are some really nice tent sites here. They, they have power and they have water. I don't see any place to park your car though. I guess you park on the grass. Anyway, moving right along. If you want a full connection site with 50 amp, 50 and 30, that has waterfront access. This is site number 61. Actually, all of these are just very beautiful. I mean, they're right here on the water. Gotta watch out for that bulkhead though. That's that's all busted up. But how beautiful is that? All right, let's go see some more stuff. We're at the top of the hill, and it's a it's a pretty big hill. This is not the top of the hill camping loop. I don't know if I have enough battery to get up there. I'm probably gonna have to drive the truck. We'll see. We're at the dump station. It's a two holer. Make sure you bring your cradle because it's on a curb. Why they design them that way? Whoever designed that was not, obviously not an RVer. All right, let's go see some stuff. Let's go shoot a scooter tour. Sable has a dead battery. Didn't quite finish. I didn't quite get the scooter run finished. So I'm gonna have to add some truck driving footage for that we find ourselves at the end of another experiential video what a great little campground man you gotta come check out wolf creek park park is only open from uh march through i think march through no november so they've just opened for the season they're not open during the winter uh, but you can make reservations at the beginning of the year so if you want to visit Wolf Creek Park, it's advised that January 1, you're making your reservations. Post a comment down there. Tell me what you like best about this park. Me personally, it's the pine trees. Just love those pine trees. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. You have no idea how much that helps with the YouTube algorithm. It's when you do that and you, and you post a comment, you post, uh, put a thumbs up, that tells that stinking algorithm that people want to watch this video and it pushes it out to another audience. If you don't do that, it doesn't push it. It thinks that no one needs this information. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. Make sure you jump over to Facebook, Duders, D-U-D-E-R-V-S, and join the Duders group over there. Got a big event coming up in the summer. Hope to see you there. And for my patrons, I am so honored. I am so grateful. Thank you for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?